Hey everybody, it's Peter from Brantford Kia and we are at the Detroit Auto Show and this is the Kia Telluride. Now this is just an introduction video, we're just going to show you the basics, we're going to go over the outside, we're going to talk about a few interior features, but we want to know from you in the comments below what you want to know because we've got lots of other information to share on a separate video later, but right now, let's take a look. Let's start at the front here. Over here, I'm going to get my camera to come around the front here. Very unique grille. One thing we didn't know if it was going to make it to production was the Telluride across the front, written like that in letters. It's there. You've got fog lights down low. You've got the nice uh, marker lights up top here surrounding the headlights. You've also got, instead of, they look square, but they're actually very much round lights in there. We're going to come around the driver's side now. People were asking us if they would have surround view camera on this car, and it looks like all the ones at the show do. So again, this is the American version. There may be differences in Canada, but there is a little camera in the mirror here, and that camera tells us it's gonna have surround view camera. The other thing about, we're gonna talk about is sunroofs. Now we'll have to show you that in a separate picture. There's two separate sunroofs, one up here and a second one back here. So instead of a full panoramic roof, it does have a pillar through here, but it's a sharp looking interior. A couple little design details. Signal lights in there, like we expected. A little bit of a trim piece up here that blends up there. What you notice around the side is this little chrome piece jumps up here, sets it apart a little bit, something unique, and it wraps all the way around there. So we've got different looking chrome in there. This one has a nice metallic white paint. There's a dark green here as well, and a nice uh, sort of a ice blue color on the far side. We're gonna look at the wheels now. If we look at the front wheel here, there's a couple different wheel designs here. This was on two of the cars at the show. Very sharp looking wheel. These are Michelin tires on this one, and they are, let's check the size as soon as I see them. Oh, there we go, where is it? I don't know, where? Uh, 20 inch tires, so 20 inch rims there, big uh, tires, chrome trim along the bottom, nice blacked out detail. One thing I really like is this one's not open, but the doors do wrap all the way around. So when you're getting out in the winter, that'll protect your pant legs from all the you know Canadian winter type stuff that we deal with. We're gonna come around the back now as well. Okay, once again, this model is now locked, so we can't show you the inside of this one. We will show you the inside of the next one there. All-wheel drive label is here. We do notice some trim badges on, th on this side here. So the upper level trims, the EXV6, we'll show you that in another one. It'll have a trim badge there. It is a dual exhaust. It's not a quad exhaust. Some of the um, ones showed quad exhaust. It looks like this one's just dual exhaust. You've got the backup beepers there. And again, Telluride written across the back there in a big wide letter. So we weren't sure if that was gonna make production. It looks like it did. So that's the outside. We're gonna cut now. We're gonna move to the next model and we'll show you some of the features on the inside as well. All right, so we're at the back of this Telluride here. Now, a couple things that we didn't know if they were gonna come. There is an underfloor storage space back here behind the third row seats. And of course, this is the largest space we have in a third row seat vehicle other than our Sedona minivan. Back here, there's some buttons to fold the seats down. They also fold just like the regular Sedona seats. They pop down no problem like that. Lots of floor space. This one happens to have captain's chairs. So we'll pull that back up there. There is a USB charge port in the back seat here. So if you got a cell phone and you need charging, you can do that from the back as well. Big wide opening, not a lot of intrusions. So things that we kind of expect from Kia right now. And of course these seats can recline so they can be set at different levels. You can see this one's more forward. You can have it square for cargo space or uh, pulled down for more comfort. So that's the rear row seat. We're gonna pull around the side now. Middle row is kind of interesting. This one's got a whiter, light, lighter interior. This one's leather, of course. Ventil ventilated leather. Now the big thing with the ventilated leather, for the first time ever, Kia's got ventilated seats back here. Now that may be in the uh, bigger K900 or something like that, but in the Telluride, ventilated and heated seats, and not just two levels of heating, two, uh, three levels of heating, three levels of cooling in these seats here. A couple little switches that are a little different, little buttons on the seats, as well as levers to pull. The buttons help you move the seat forward like that so you can get easy access to the back there. There's the third row seats there and they are very comfortable. In fact, you know what? Why don't I just hop in for a second? Here I am in the back. Again, fits an adult, lots of headroom. I'm about six feet tall. I've got plenty of headroom. There's vents back here. You do have little LED lights. So there's a nice white light, cup holders. Like I said, a USB port on either side and these chairs work. These center rows move far enough forward that you can easily get in and out. So not gonna have a permanent seat in the back. You're not gonna have uh, adults back here for an eight hour trip, but certainly our most roomy uh, SUV to date. As we come in here, as we're looking at the middle seats here, you can see the captain's chairs have armrests. They have a ratcheting action, so they can come all the way down and you can lock them at whatever level you want to be perfectly fitting to your, uh, to your legs. One thing I didn't see, I'm gonna gra actually grab the camera from Tim here. One thing I didn't notice earlier is uh, on the backs of the seats, there's actually a USB port. So that's a USB port on the back of the driver's seat and the passenger front seat. So you can plug your device in if you're in the middle row to the seat up front. So that's kind of unique. Still got the plastic backing, which I'm a big fan of in the seats right here. We'll show you that there. But you've also got the leather uh, pouch right there as well. So very interesting the way they've done things. We're gonna move to the front seat. We're gonna cut it right now and we'll jump to the front seat. 
All right, front seat comfort. This is where everybody spends the most time. We haven't got a ton of time, we've got a lot of people that want to look at the car. Wood trim out here. You've got all the standard buttons out there, auto, or powered seats there. You can lock out the child's uh, windows and stuff. Powered seats, you do have, just like in the uh, top line Sedona, or sorry, Sorrento and the Stinger, you have a seat that comes out at your thighs there. Lots of all the safety devices here. Typical Kia steering wheel, nothing too crazy there. All the standard stuff, smart cruise control, automatic headlights. Uh, the big difference is here, this big wide screen. Now we're gonna see in the 2020 Soul, if you watch some of those videos as well, this big wide screen is gonna come standard in that as well. Simple controls, very Stinger-like in some ways. Wood trim here, nice feeling, smooth, but it's uh, still got a little bit of texture there as well. You've got a different looking button for heated and cooled seats. Uh, similar idea to the Stinger, but uh, different uh, execution there. Of course, you have your auto wireless charging here. Drive terrain mode, so your all wheel drive has a terrain button sitting right there. It will have auto start stop, just like the Stinger does. Uh, I actually noticed that in the 2020 Soul as well. So at least some of those will come with that. Um, you've got the surround view camera we mentioned about, electronic parking brake, and uh, nice big grab handles here. So really unique interior. And uh, the other thing I should point out is up top, you do have UVO intelligence. We expect that in Canada, that'll be what this is. Big sunroof over the driver's uh, area and an even bigger one over the rear seat passenger space back there. So that's the basics of the interior. Uh, let's wrap it up and uh, we'll close it up then. So that's our first look at the Kia Telluride here at the Detroit Auto Show. We're gonna have it at our dealer very soon. As we have more information, we'll share it with you. Again, this is the American version. Some things may change in the Canadian version, but we expect to show you everything. If you have questions about this car, let us know in the comments below. We've got tons of pictures to, to let us know about all the features, what all the buttons look like. Some of them aren't the best pictures. They're more just for detail for us, but we can throw those in future videos. We'd be happy to make more and answer questions. We wanna be a leading dealer on this vehicle. We're going to be a leading dealer on this vehicle. So if you have questions or if you wanna buy this car, let us know. We'll get in touch with our sales team about when availability and pricing and everything else. Thanks everybody for watching. We'll talk to you soon.